<laughs> he just don't know what to expect yeah whoa hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm bringing you my perfume wish list these are perfumes that i do not need at all i do not need them but i really really want them i will start in no particular order i've done my research i've seen reviews on it and many youtubers actually have done this type of video before and i thought it would be fun to do my version of it and uh, my birthday is coming up in a couple of months and i'm super excited so um i might get myself one or two or three of those perfumes on my wish list or hopefully um, down the line in the future or if some of my friends are feeling super generous and they want to gift me then I am ready to receive my friends always ask me what do you want for your birthday well here's a wish list and if you feel like you want to splurge on your girl then there are no objections from me whatsoever I have some mid-range prices I have some very high-end prices I will put images of the perfumes for you guys to see if you're not familiar with them I kind of made my notes here so I will give you some information about each fragrance and why I like it I will start with the first one the first one is intense cafe by Montal this fragrance I've heard a few youtubers talk about it but mostly I've heard Mila Leblanc talk about it and she loves it a lot now I did my research check the notes and I really really am curious about it mostly because it has coffee as the middle notes I have a couple of fragrances with coffee in it and I'm not sure what exactly I'm looking for in my perfect coffee fragrance but I'm looking for something super unique and something that I can actually smell the coffee in my last fragrance that I featured here on my channel I talked about the only one by Dolce & Gabbana I've also talked about black opium because these have coffee notes while I do like these fragrances um, I don't know they're not quite what I'm looking for in a coffee fragrance I would like intense cafe by Montal because I feel like it might give me what I'm looking for but other than that I mean it's just a very unique type of perfume the bottle is very unique I am looking forward to trying it and hopefully other fragrances in the future by that line so again intense cafe by Montal the next fragrance I have on my wish list is Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford keep in mind that these prices may vary because based on the website that you're shopping you can get these fragrances for much cheaper these are the prices that I pull directly from the retailers websites and so uh, they may vary you might find them much cheaper and if you do grab them if you know of any site that I can find them cheaper let me know leave those websites in the comment section below I would be more than happy to check it out I want this fragrance because it's a floral oriental floriental if you will the best notes on this one are patchouli accord and coco de mer accord the top notes are bitter orange and bergamot so the notes in most of these fragrances are notes that i either like i am curious about or i um i tend to gravitate towards i would love soleil blanc by tom ford because also um from the reviews i've seen it makes the perfect the perfect summer fragrance and even if we're almost like done with summer like like there's always next year and hopefully guys next year will be a better year than 2020 was because whew. the next fragrance i have is oud satin mood y'all i have a very close friend who is obsessed with this fragrance and i have been curious about it since she mentioned it this is by maison francis kirk de jean uh, the creator of the famous baccarat rouge 540 and um i really do not have oud fragrances in my collection and as my taste and my interest grow I am definitely curious as to what that is like if I am really into it and I'm just I'm just wanting to test it out for those of you who might also be curious about it this one has rose this one has vanilla and natural oud from Laos or Laos so I am super curious about it and I am excited to try this out whenever I do get my hands on it whether it's a sample or the full size which is really my goal this is what I'm going for so yeah so Oud Satin Mood by Maison Francis Kirk de Jean the next one is by the same house this one is also by Maison Francis Kirk de Jean and this one is Gentle Fluidity now this one comes in the gold or the silver honestly whichever I can get my hand on first 
I would love to try that. This one is classified as being a fresh fragrance and lately I've kind of like been enjoying fresh fragrances a lot. Like I don't know if it's because we're in summer. I don't know if it's because, I don't know, maybe my tastes are changing some because I'm mostly a fruity floral type of person. I like warmer scents as well but the fresh scents have really been making their way slowly into my collection this one has juniper berries this one has ember this one has vanilla and i am really really curious to try this one because like i said i've not tried any um fragrances from that house i am super curious about them so gentle fluidity gold or silver definitely on my wish list the next one comes from a house that I have quite a few fragrances from. I have talked about Coco Noir, I've talked about Coco Mademoiselle, I've talked about all the Cocos, <laughs> I've talked about Gabrielle, I've talked about number five, I love Chanel y'all. And the next one is from the house of Chanel. This comes from the exclusive line. I want to try Beige by Chanel or Chanel Beige. How do you say it? I don't know. This fragrance is an intense floral and it comes, it will cost about $200 based on the size that you're going for. This one of course comes from Chanel, so for me it's classy. Any fragrance that I have from Chanel, I feel like I'm in possession of a very classic piece. It is classified as an intense floral, and there's a blend of rose and jasmine. Rose I love, jasmine I like. I mean, with the two together, sounds like magic to me. Definitely another one I would like to try. The next one on my list is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Um, this one is super popular because it is our queen, Rihanna's uh, signature fragrance. And um, I love the notes in this one because it is just sweet. It is delicious. It sounds like definitely a fragrance that I personally would enjoy. It is classified as a floral gourmand with marshmallow sugar, cord, orange blossom, and a warm amber base. It sounds like a magic made in perfume heaven. And I definitely would, I think based on the notes only, I think it's a fragrance I would love. And um, it sounds like also a very warm and delicious fragrance. So probably would be very appropriate during the winter months as well because of all the warmth from it. We also have that floral note because it has honeysuckle and rose. So it sounds delicious y'all and I cannot wait to try it. One by Rihanna and because it's so popular you would think that it's more expensive but it's not well in the perfume world that is not super expensive y'all like if you know you know the next one on my list i've actually tried before i had a nice sample size before i wore it like for a couple days i got nothing but compliments on it it is just a light airy beautiful fragrance and people loved it on me like i could not stop getting compliments the couple of days that i got to wear the little sample size and i definitely want it well i think that one is probably most likely the one i will purchase for myself because i like it so much i'm talking about lieb by uh yves saint laurent i love yves saint laurent fragrances you guys already know that i love black opium so like i said i've tried lieb the fragrance symbolizes freedom femininity we have lavender musk and orange blossom so but I think the lavender definitely, when I wore it, I could tell that that was one of the more prominent um, notes in the fragrance. So I like it. Definitely want to get it. It's very, very high up on my list. Next one I have comes from Maison Margiela. And this one, I have definitely heard about it, not just recently, but it's been around for a minute. And it's very popular, very warm, very cozy. And this one is Replica by The Fireplace. I have heard nothing but good things about that. Sounds like the perfect, perfect fall fragrance, fall slash winter fragrance. It's warm, um, it is cozy, it has vanilla in it, chestnut, pink pepper, clove oil. Like it has all the ingredients that makes it the perfect winter slash fall fragrance. So that warmth is definitely something I know I would enjoy and I would love to add that to my collection. I've already talked about a fragrance from this house. This is by Valentino. This is the Donna Noir Absolu. Um, I loved Donna Born in Roma. Talked about it a few months ago. I will link the video below. It is it is a beautiful house. I love the bottles. I love the signature design of their bottles. And this one I feel like would just be a better version 
of um, Donna Born in Roma. It is a mixture of vibrant florals. We have rose and jasmine, vanilla and leather accord. So quite a unique blend of notes. I would absolutely love to have this one. Because it's like that floriental type of vibe, I feel like I would enjoy it just like I do with the um, Donna Born in Roma. So um, I think it would be nice and warm with a lot of depth and I definitely want to try it. Brace yourself for the next one because this one is, whew, this is the very popular, much talked about Delina by Parfum de Mali. From the reviews, the videos I've looked at, it is uber long lasting, a beautiful fragrance for any woman. Um, it is soft, it is sensual, it is floral, but also fruity because there's lychee in the notes, rhubarb and bergamot. There's also a little mix of spice in there. I mean, woo, it sounds like everything that I would love. So I would like, I would really, really like to add that to my collection because I'm just so intrigued by it and people have talked so much about it. And then of course we have the beautiful cashmere and musk as the base note. So Delina sounds like definitely one that is, I see why it would be so unique and I see why people are so crazy about it. The last one, no, I wanted to do 10 initially, but I had to add this one to my list. Like I just had to add this one to my list. You guys know that La Vie Belle is my bae. Perfumes work differently on everyone and then based on your body's chemistry, all of that, like the way a perfume performs on me might not be how it performs on you. I love La Vie Belle. I do just enjoy fragrances by Lancome. And um, this one is an oud, which like I said earlier, I do not have in my collection and I'm trying to like Kind of go into that field a little bit just to see how i feel about it lancome doesn't disappoint i feel like and i feel like that is one i would definitely enjoy so i want oud bouquet by lancome it is a gorgeous bottle it is described as a narcotic and sensual rose it has a blend of spices and oriental wood like i i am here for this i put it in my cart like quite a few times and removed it put it in my cart removed it like the obsession is real <laughs> and um this one is 208 dollars yes pretty penny on that one but um i love lancome and i feel like i will not be disappointed by that purchase so so the total price on my perfume wish list is two thousand four hundred and twenty seven dollars lord now if somebody says then she has expensive taste i do i do i mean i'm not even gonna front i do but and will I purchase all these perfumes? Maybe not. Maybe I will. I mean, we're not talking about a wish list to be immediately fulfilled. It might be down the line. It might be this year. It might be next year. It might be the year after that. But definitely, I look forward to trying these out. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is it for my perfume wish list, my over the top perfume wish list. If you have similar perfumes on your wish list, I mean, do you even have? Do you even have a wish list? Um, if you do, please share them down below. Let me know what you guys think about mine. And I just want to end this note kind of on a somber note a little bit. Last night, um, we we learned of the death of Black Panther, aka Chadwick Boseman. And I just want to take a moment to recognize his legacy i mean he left a very good one behind y'all like he was the perfect representation for our young black men and women definitely a loss for the black community and just the um film community in general a moment for chadwick bosman because he was he was a real one and to add to it he was battling stage three colon cancer while filming all these amazing movies that we've come to love and enjoy and um we did not know we didn't know so it's just like today i did not want to do this video because my heart is really heavy but i thought to myself if he could power through it and work hard while battling cancer like he never stopped living his life so that is kind of like my takeaway from from all of that that you gotta keep living, you gotta fulfill your dreams, and you gotta push through even when you do not feel like it. So may he rest in eternal peace. And um, yeah, he definitely will be missed. And that is it. So 
thank you as always for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye bye